I was summoned to Ed Base because of something I had said, and it was supposed to be confidential, all bogus. The whole thing of what I said was put out in public issue, in everybody's basket, it was broadcast to the world. I had said it a couple of weeks before it was public knowledge. And basically it, were, it, basically it was simply that Vicky Asneran, who was Inspector General, and Jesse Prince, Deputy Inspector General, had been RPF'd. Anyway, I got six months of the North Korean mind control treatment. I was told that I was not allowed to route out and I was not allowed to leave. I was stuck there. And I, I got into a fight with one of the other RPFers and he broke my hand on a table and smashed me into some bookshelves and I was pretty bruised up. And I basically said, hey, I'm, you know, I'm fed up with this. If you guys don't let me out of here, I'm just going to stop eating and sleeping and I'm just going to die. Heba had been sent to Germany. Germany was blowing up to high heaven in serious things. So Heba was in Germany and I was, you know, digging the soil and being put to hard manual labor at Inbase. And Alexander was two years old. Alone, in Los Angeles, no mom, no dad. Scientology doesn't give a hoot in hell about family. It's just, pff, family, babies, get lost, get with it. Nonsense, this is nuisance. And I was a new mom, and I was, there's no one to take him home. He was in Germany. I was acting up. I was acting up so much that I went to security. And I did something that just is not done. I told security, chief of security is um, Gary Moorhead. He spoke, he's in the truth rundown of the Tampa Bay Times. Jackson is his pet name, Jackson. I went to Jackson and I said, you, you've kidnapped me. This is illegal. I'm here against my will. I want to go back to Los Angeles. All of this was because I had a two-year-old with no mom, no dad. No one to take him home. Horrible nurseries. Roaches crawling over the milk. I think you've heard the horror stories from numerous posts on the web. Now, as soon as we saw the nannies, we would start running in their direction. So you'd have a horde of a couple of hundred children running in one direction at two nannies. And it was just a fight to get in there and grab your oranges and get away and eat them as fast as you could before anyone took them from you. There was no nanny that would ensure you got your orange and that you got a drink of water, you had to make sure that you did. So I said, you're holding me against my will. That did not go over well. They confiscated my car keys and they hurl me into what they call security checks, which were designed to find out if I had been PDH'd. This was a big thing in Hubbard's universe. Pain, drugs, hypnosis. And what it means is 
commands have been implanted in your mind under anesthesia or under electric or whatever. For example, a good example would be the movie The Manchurian Candidate, where ideas are put into the head. So even though the last 18 years, non-stop, because at St. Hill I was a volunteer, I was staff, just as I worked almost a Sea Org schedule for two, three years at St. Hill, even before I even arrived at, so essentially I was full-time staff since 1970 at St. Hill onwards, non-stop. And they were dragging me on cans to ask if I had been implanted, if psychiatry had got their hands on me. If you say something against the church, which the church thinks is outlandish, you must be under the influence of an implant. It's not that the church is doing something wrong, kidnapping and holding you against will. You are a psychiatric misfit because the psychiatrists have enforced these ideas in your head, believe it or not. There was only one person at the end base who was kind to me. One person. Who's that? Marty Rathburn. After I threatened to take my car and drive it through the gates to get out of there. Marty Rathbun came running down from RTC. I said, Karen, what's, what's happening? Talk to me. And I erupted. I've got a two-year-old son. He is in Germany. I don't know who take. You've got to get your kids out of the nursery by telling them there's no nannies. After a certain time, it's cut off. So I had a two-year-old son. He were in Germany. And Marty gave me, did an order that I could go and see Alexander for half a day, once a week, or every other week. That lasted about a month, and then it... But Marty was kind to me, a kindness I would never forget. He was human in an environment gradually becoming monsters. These guys were... Insane, even in the late 80s. No humanity. Anyway, Heba came back from Germany. I made it through the six months. But I'd had enough. And by 1990, I was out of the sea organization. No sooner had I come out when several exes came forward to let me know what had gone on with my son, Alexander Jench. When Alexander was 12 years old, he was having sexual intercourse with a 40-year-old at the flight land base not reported to Clearwater PD, as the church does in all cases of molestation, swept under the carpet. And as soon as the church found out, they flew Alexander and the sexual molester, Marie Warren, out of there to be out of jurisdiction so that Clearwater PD could not do anything. The reason Matt Pesh knew all about it is he was in charge of finance. And he had to come out of, from nowhere, book, you know, airfares are expensive when you're going to fly out in the next hour, they charge. <laughs> and Matt was brief. This is the son of the president of the Church of Scientology International. And he's 12 years old and has been having sexual intercourse. Alexander, for a year and a half, was used as a slave. He was cleaning toilets. He wasn't going to school. He was cleaning toilets and vacuuming floors, used as a little 12-year-old slave while he was having sexual intercourse at 12 years old. I tell you this whole story because Heba was never told the story. Neither was I. If I hadn't left the church to this day, I would not have known that my own son, had what we call statutory rape. 
What is sad is that Heber was only permitted by David Miscavige to see Alexander Jentsch 11 times in the last 15 years of Alexander's young life. 11 times. 